So welcome back everyone to a brand new Finding Forex video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you two things. I'm going to be giving you a recap and an outlook for the week ahead, what I'm looking to buy, what I'm looking to sell. But while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be taking you guys through my exact strategy that is simple, easy and effective to use in the Forex markets. Not only the Forex markets, but also stock markets, crypto, anything that you could think of. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Before we begin, a huge shout out to Longhorn FX for sponsoring today's video. This is a broker where you can have a one to 500 leverage, okay, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to use the strategy that I'm teaching and put it into your own trading and have a good broker that comes with a good strategy, this is the place for you. A one to 500 leverage. If you want to do account flips, this is the place to do it. If you want to slowly grow your account, this is the place to do it. Trust me, Longhorn Effects is the place to be and their customer service is second to none. There'll be a link to their website down in the description below. So before I do anything, I first of all start my day off by looking at Forex Factory. So what I'll do is I'll go onto my little cursor over here into this little green bar. I'll click on it and then basically what I'll do is I will see the news for the day. Now I only have high impact news and medium impact news applied. You can also add bank holidays if you want to, all even low impact news. However, this is what I opt to do. So first of all, I'll do that. I'll apply my filters and then I'll see the news for the day. And normally what I'll do is if there is any high impact news, I won't trade that specific pair. Or if I find a really good setup and there's still a few hours till the news drops, I will trade that pair once again until the news comes out. So at the moment, there is high impact British pound news coming out at 4 p.m. UK time. So what I'll do is around sort of 3.30, quarter to four, I'll close out any positions that I may have on the British pound or I'll just opt not to trade the pound at all. So it is a new day, ladies and gentlemen. The clip that you saw was taken yesterday. So all of that news that you've just seen has been and gone, didn't really have too much an effect on the market. What I've done today is literally what I've done yesterday, loaded up Forex Factory, see what's going on and see what high impact news there is. And now what we're going to be doing is just taking you over pretty much my top down analysis and my strategy and what I'm going to be looking for. So nice and simple. What we've got up here, we've got some nice zones. We're going to pull this one here and then drag it down to there because that looks like a pretty nice zone. Like so. Keep that there. I think what I'd like to see if we can get rid of this one and get rid of this one. I'd like to see price come back into here, show some rejection, and then take maybe a sell up here. Nice and simple. Sell at resistance, buy at support. However, because we have this sort of downtrend structure right there, I'd look be looking for a, um, not a buy opportunity down here, but a sell opportunity back into this zone. Like so. What we're looking for on CHFJPY, nice and simple, is we're in an overall uptrend. We can get rid of this zone here. We don't really need it we don't really need this so neither we can mark them up later if we need what we're looking for here is we're just we've marked up the swing lows we've got the swing highs marked up we're looking for price to come back into this zone here and then that's where we're looking for a buy and think once this video has finished and um uploaded and recorded i am actually going to put a limit in here and this is what it would look like this is what i'm thinking long position in there I'll have my limit in there. Stop losses just below the 78.6, targeting the previous swing highs for our one to three risk to reward. Uh, we could really have our also stop losses up in here, but there will be more buyers waiting in this zone here. So what we're going to be doing, waiting for price if it comes down to here, hopefully find some more buyers and then take us to the upside. Nice and simple. Uh, so what we've had here, this is GBP USD. Uh, I want to see a retest back into this area, which is then where I'd look to buy. That simple. Now we're on GBP JPY. We're looking like him. We're creating some bearish market structure here. As you can see, we've broken out of our consolidation. We've continued lower. So I'm going to add another zone in the next place that I see one. 
which would be these swing lows here, like that. Now what I'd be looking to do is maybe put a buy in here. As you can see, we've been trending upwards really, really aggressively for a while now. This might be a retracement if we can see some rejection in this zone here. Maybe I'll look to buy. If we don't see any rejection, then we'll wait to maybe buy at a more premium price down here. That's GBP JPY. What we've got here is GBP CAD. Just move that up there, like so. Previous swing highs located, touching the swing highs again. Um, maybe this will create a double top formation. We'll have to jump down to say the one hour, the half hour, or the 15 minute time frame to see if we're getting any rejection. But that's what I'll maybe look for. Maybe look for a sell if we can get a nice double top formation, or we'd be a bit more patient and then buy when we get down to this zone here. And if I actually move this zone just a little bit like that and make it a little bit bigger, like so, it's quite a nice zone there. So we've had wick touches in there, came down to test again, and then we've continued higher. So this is a nice zone like that. This would have been a beautiful trade. Unfortunately, we did not catch it. So as you can see, we can get rid of this zone right here. As you can see, we've got one touch, two touch, rejected, pushed through, retested, and then started pushing upwards. It would have been nice to get a nice entry in on here. However, we didn't, so it is what it is. Now I'm going to move on to the daily time frame and see what other market structure we're approaching. So if we go to the right, we can't really see anything on the daily. Let's go to the weekly, see if we can see anything. So for the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing anything of real market structure until we get to this area here up at 2.08. Uh, maybe we'll come for a retest back into this zone here. However, we have got our zone marks in there like so. So we don't need to mark that up. So what we're going to wait for is just probably some more market structure to see what downside continuation we can get like so. So for now... Uh, AUD, uh, GBP AUD, just waiting for maybe a retest down to here. We'll have to wait and see. NZD JPY, if we get rid of this zone here, like so. Uh, we've got a nice little zone here. We had a bit of a liquidity spike, retested, continued downwards. What I'm now looking for is a retest back up into this zone where we can see some rejection. And we're looking on the four hour at the moment. We could just mark up these clusters here, like so. As you can see, we're getting some some rejection inside there if we then go on to the one hour time frame we can see if we're getting any more rejection so maybe if we can close sort of quite bullish on here maybe like a double top or a double bottom formation we may look to enter into a buy or we may just be patient and wait to enter a sell it really all depends but i would prefer to probably sell at this level because as you can see it looks like we're starting to now create bearish market structure we started pushing up, we pushed down, but overall we are also in a bullish market. So it's one of those ones where you're just going to have to be patient, wait and see. If we maybe whack a Fibonacci from this swing low here, like so, to this swing low or that swing high, and then move down onto the four hour time frame. What we could really do is maybe put an entry in here. Um, target there, maybe stop loss just below. Depends on our risk to reward. That's NZD JPY. In my strategy that is easy and effective, literally buy at support, sell at resistance, maybe throw in a Fibonacci tool every now and again. Every now and again. That has been the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Like the video if you want to see more videos just like this one. But thank you all so much for watching. This is Luke, and I'll sign out. Peace.